The stunning development in the world of artificial intelligence. A new version of the high-powered app ChatGPT is rolling out, and the rapid advance of AI technology is raising questions about potential misuse. Rebecca Jarvis is back with more, and good morning again, Rebecca. Hi, Michael. Nice to see you again. And it is astounding how far this technology has come so quickly. The makers of ChatGPT say their latest innovation can beat most humans at the SAT and bar exams. But of course, that raises some giant questions about jobs, truth, and our world. This morning, artificial intelligence taking a dizzying leap forward. OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, which came on the scene just four months ago. I said, tell me three facts about Robin Roberts, and it came back with some pretty interesting information. Out with its latest innovation, GPT-4, a program so advanced, its creators say it can score in the 90th percentile on the uniform bar exam. It can also analyze photos. For example, after scanning a picture of what's in your cupboard or fridge, it can serve up options for a recipe. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman tweeting that it is more creative than previous models and it is less biased, but that it is still flawed and still limited. We're really kind of at the beginning of seeing AI's impact, that that impact is likely to ramp up. And I think we're going to see it you know, affect people more in their, in their daily lives. As artificial intelligence grows in importance, concerns about its uses and possible misuses are growing too. Some school districts have banned it for fear of cheating. Yet a growing number of educators are also embracing the technology, including Lexington, Kentucky teacher Donnie Piercy. We're just at the start of what AI is going to look like in education, but it's also important to realize that it's just going to get better. And we as teachers, we, we need to be prepared so that way we can start to adapt our lessons. Meantime, the early innings of the AI arms race have also exposed flaws. Google AI's BARD made a factual error in its first public demo, and Snapchat recently launched a chatbot, MyAI, supposed to be safer for teens. But when Washington Post reporter Jeffrey Fowler tested it out, the conversation turned inappropriate at times. I asked it, hey, can you... Uh, give me some advice on what kind of beer to have at my my 15th birthday party. And it did. <laughs> it did also remind me that you have to be 21 to drink, but that didn't stop it from giving me advice that just wasn't appropriate for a 15-year-old. Then I asked it, how do I mask the smell of pot in the house? And it gave me lots of advice on that as well. Snap Inc. telling ABC News that my AI has been programmed with additional safeguards. If Snapchatters experience any inappropriate responses, we encourage them to report it using our in-app tools. And they're working on additional features to give parents insight into how their teens are using AI and the ability to restrict access to it. It's really important to to deploy these things very carefully and with a lot of oversight. At the moment, there's just this huge pressure companies are feeling to, to not be left out of this generative AI race. So they're just putting them out there and, and seeing, seeing what happens. Obviously, some giant unknowns still here. We're going to keep asking the questions. We're going to keep exploring that technology, bringing it to everyone in our audience who's watching right now, showing them how it works, showing you exactly what it is and what it could mean for our world. Because, guys, the idea of what this will mean for our world, it's certainly going to change things. It's hard to even fathom today mm. how it's going to change things 10 years from now. That's how quickly it's changing and how big of an impact people believe it will have. What do, you, what do you think, Rebecca? What, what's your gut tell you? Oh, I, I mean, it, it's, it, it will change how we do our jobs. There is definitely the upside, the good parts of it, but there's certainly the misuses of it. And mm. right now, we're, we're dealing in a, in a kind of closed ecosystem. People who are, generally speaking, wanting to do good with this are playing around with it. What happens when those who want to exploit it and do bad with it want to participate? There are so many giant questions yeah. about regulation, about how we use this, our kids, families. Families, all of it. Yeah. And, and it's not just 10 years, it's 10 months. This is moving yeah. fast. It's fast really hey. yeah, really it's, fast. It's, that's a very good point as well. Yep. As always, Rebecca, thank you. We appreciate you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here. 
to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.